Hey guys, I'm Steve here. Well, I've got another video to show you today, and it's about this company here. Um, I've done a video on these before, but we'll get that intro out of the road and then we'll get into it, eh? Cheers. Okay guys, like I was saying before the intro there, I've got another video for you today and we're out camping and uh, when we were coming down here yesterday, it was raining. I might show you a little video up there on the screen, put her up there somewhere, right? And um, this happens quite often, you know, you go camping and it um, starts raining, you get some cloudy weather, but it's fine now, like uh, there's nothing wrong with the weather now, it's blowing a little bit, but uh, what I want to talk about is, is your, um, your battery system and how to charge it. Now I've done a video before on the kick-ass solar panels when I was at home. Um, if you want to check out that previous video, I just show you how they all pack away, what they go into, and I use it charging up the battery in my car. Now, we've set up our camper. I've actually got 300 watts of solar up on the roof there. So up there you can see there are red arc panels. Now they come with the trailer. Um, they're good panels and most most of us all will have a set of solar panels or something on our camper, on our car. But if you get into the situation like we are here where we camped, we wanted this beautiful little spot down here. Have a look at this, guys. We've got this beautiful little creek running down the back here. Plenty of firewood. And uh, we've got our fire going over here. Annie's standing over there. Give us a wave, Annie. <laughs> but you can see my red arc panels there. They've got a lot of shade and it's because of all these trees. Like look at all these big gum trees and that. The sun come up over there this morning and it's nearly 12 o'clock in the day and all morning the shade has been running around these trees here. Now if you want your, um, your battery system to be charged, you've got to have a plan B because you never know where you're going to camp, whether you're going to be in shade, have cloud, whatever. And I've got my kick-ass panels which I leave in the trailer all the time. Here they are here. I can put them in full sun. I've got 10 meters of cord there that I can run around. And um, they're light. They fold up really well. They're a 200 watt panel. Um, and I just thought I'd just show you how they're performing. So we'll come around the back here and I'll show you something around here. So I've got this little kick-ass monitor here. So this is where my auxiliary um, plug-in is for my main battery inside the box here. So I've got this little kick-ass panel here. Now, it is putting in 7.8 amps. It was putting in nine and a half there a minute ago. 100, it was putting in 155 watts. It's about 130 at the moment. And it's about 18 volts. Um, it's been going for about four hours. Now I've just got that there so I can monitor that. We'll go around to the back of the trailer here now. So, so up here is my Red Arc management system. So I've got to manage a 30 on this. So I'll just scroll down. So the batteries are at 89%. This morning when, I, um, when we got up after using it last night, it was sitting at 79%. So it's going up quite quick. That has gone up about 10% in the last half an hour since the sun has been on those pen, pen, kick-ass panels fully. Saying it's putting in 17 volts there and it's putting in 17.7, nearly 19 amps there at the moment. So in conjunction with the um, red arc panels on the roof, and the kick-ass panels out the side there, which remember they're putting in about eight or 10 amps of that 23, I'm getting my lithium battery charged quicker and fully. So it just makes sense to have a, a plan B, another set of panels, so that you can um, look after, get your battery charged up as quick as possible so that you can make use of your system. Um, so if you wanted to um, you know, put a 12 volt oven on or anything like that, charge up your devices. So if you want to charge up your 
appliances or anything like that it's always good to have another set of panels um, just so that you've got that plan b option that i was talking about and you can't get any better than these like these kick-ass panels i mean i've had other ones but these are just great i mean i think you know for value for money and what they do you can't get anything better on the market so thanks for watching don't forget to hit that um, like and that, and that subscribe um, i really appreciate it i was looking at some of my stats there I'm getting a lot of views, like, um, but 81% of my uh, viewers are not subscribed, and you are probably coming back all the time. So if you could hit that subscribe, it'll help my channel out. I can show you more stuff like this. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.